Yeah, so in your interview with Forte, you were talking about those school programs which teach you how to make beats, how to, how to you know, write bars and stuff like that. And you mentioned Shantan. Yeah, Shantan. Um, yeah, yeah so, so, for anyone who, so for anyone who doesn't know Shantan, you know, he does a lot of things, but um, you know, he manages Kobe D. Uh, mm. He used to have stolen records on FBI yeah. radio. I went on there when I was 10 years old. FBI Crazy. Records, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, oh, you yeah, mentioned in Redfern. Kid, Redfern. Yeah, in Redfern, yeah. Yeah, but you know, he did a lot of things for stolen records. You know, uh, Sky High's Grime Freestyle was yeah, on there, and, and he does... He does the late show on Triple J now, I think, you know, 12 to 2 a.m. Mm. or something like that. But, you know, he, he does a lot of different things. But, um, yeah, talk to us more about, like, the role that Shantan played, I guess, when, when he was coming through and kind of guiding you in those early years. So Shantan would come in with a laptop, him and this other bloke named Levens. I think that uh, was Oh, Levens is yeah, a Levens. legend. Yeah, Levens. Halfway crooks DJ Levens. Yeah, well, Levens. One of the best DJs in Australia. In. <laughs> and they'd come in and they'd, like, they'd have a beat, you know, and they'd be like, oh, you know, right. So we'd start, like, recording and then... I used to have like a little Nokia and I'd get him the Bluetooth it off the computer onto my phone and I'd take it back, I'd show my mum, next day do the same thing again. And then he hit me up, they had like some opportunity to go on the radio station. And I was only young, but I was like, I was 10 years old, 11 years old. And then, yeah, I went on it, fucking rapped and that. And then that was it. When I left the school, I stopped. I didn't see Shantan and that for ages. And then I think I'd done my one take or something and I seen that he shared it. And I knew, I knew the face and I knew his name and I clicked on it and I was like, fuck, you know, I haven't seen him in ages. And then I sent him a DM and then yeah, he's like, I told him, I said, bro, you know, if it wasn't for you coming to my school, I wouldn't have rapped to this day. And he's like, bro, you know, it's good to see that you're doing this, this, that. And he's like, oh, I've got this show coming up if you want to do it. So yeah, I'd done that for him and that. And yeah, he's a good bloke, Shantan, straight up. Yeah, yeah. shout out Shantan and shout out Levin Yeah, as well. shout out both of them, straight <laughs> up. But if it wasn't for them, bro, I wouldn't have done music straight up. But yeah. yeah, that's why I used to love going to school, bro, like, because I don't know, the music program for me, I don't know, it, I just escape everything when I was doing music. So yeah, and I'd go back home, you know, bullshit at home and I'd go back to school and then, you know what I mean, mine's free, you know, don't have to worry about nothing. But yeah, so I'm grateful that I did get into music at a young age. Yeah, I think those programs are important because, you know, like you said, a lot of kids don't resonate with, you know, maths or science yeah, or, or things like that. So there's different ways to measure people's creativity and intelligence. And I think that definitely, you know, you're proof, you know, that yeah, like, that's exactly you know, these programs make a real difference in people's lives. So yeah, all, you know, heaps decent, all those programs that are, that yeah. are doing the music thing, shout out to them. Yeah, straight up, shout <laughs> out to all of them, bro, straight up.